Day morning, dealt with some cold weather that we were all anticipating, Dan, over the yes. weekend. I know we've been talking yeah. about mm -hmm. talking about it, and then it really hit you just the way it said. Oh, my gosh. Yeah, I know some folks are probably like, yeah, we can deal with it, right? Mm -hmm. But, I mean, That's that was intense stuff. Yeah, yeah. I kind of went into a little, yeah. like, cocky. I was like, it's not going to be too, too bad. Like, I'll mm -hmm. be able to handle it. And then Saturday night, I was over at uh, MGM without a coat, and I was like, this is not not <laughs> ideal. <laughs> so you're making, not making ideal. fun so of me with no hat and gloves, but he didn't even have a coat. It was yes. all right, because I only went from the garage to MGM. Okay, but, yeah. all right. Fair Fair enough. Bad. Fair enough. And you know, Friday morning there were there were a handful of, like cancellations. Yes. You know, I think if Saturday was a school day, Saturday morning Definitely I think. Definitely. I mean, yeah. that was just intense stuff. Yeah. Uh, but boy, we came out of it fast. Yesterday we got all the way up into the 40s. It wasn't like we just went from the Arctic cold to like normal cold. We went from the Arctic cold to above normal temperatures. And really, readings are going to be staying above normal at least for the next seven days probably. Tomorrow will probably end up being the coolest day. And even tomorrow we're going to have readings right around 40 degrees. So now we're starting in the 20s, but by this afternoon, we should see temps come back up into the mid 40s, starting with plenty of clear skies now, and that will lead to some, uh, quite a bit of sunshine. We'll have some clouds mixing in from time to time today, though. The wind will get a little busy this afternoon out of the north. That's gonna drag down slightly cooler air, so tomorrow's highs will probably end up about five to eight degrees cooler than today, but keep in mind, today we're in the mid to upper 40s, so tomorrow that means highs right around 40. And with a clearing sky tonight and winds diminishing, temperatures should make their way into the upper teens and lower 20s. Uh, we're still catching that uh, full moon, nearly full anyway. It was full yesterday, but lighting up the city and countryside there as skies have cleared out. And we have a temperature hanging in there at 23 degrees. So moon sets at 748, moonrise again tonight at 604. So, of course, it's not quite full, but it will still be a good showing tonight as well. Uh, right now, you look west, and it's a good showing uh, lighting up the uh, sky there. Uh, mild weather pattern in general, no Arctic cold in sight. But, you know, you don't need Arctic cold to get snow, per se, right? So there is a chance that tomorrow there might be some snow showers tomorrow night in the hill towns. In the valley, it's just going to be some rain showers. It's a weak system. And then perhaps another minor event, so to speak, on Thursday, although there'll be a little bit more moisture with it. That would be primarily Thursday late in the day and Thursday night. And that could bring probably periods of rain with maybe a little bit of mixed precipitation in the hills. But for the valley, it is primarily here just going to be rain. 23 now in Springfield, 28 in Hartford. So we have cooled off efficiently with a clear sky and very little wind. Might lead to a little bit of frost on the windshield this morning. You can see the clouds have shifted now off to the east with moisture offshore. That's an area of low pressure that is moving away. Of course, that clock, uh, counterclockwise flow around it will kick our breeze up out of the north. But really no Arctic air in eastern Canada. It's really retreated way back off to the north. So temperatures tomorrow will still be climbing to around 40. Here comes that front that will arrive late tomorrow, tomorrow evening. And again, that could bring some snow or rain showers, primarily rain showers in the valley, maybe a minor accumulation in the hills, like a coating to an inch or something like that. That would be tomorrow, 8, 9, 10 o'clock, up to about midnight or so. But Wednesday behind the front, sunshine and clouds mixed, more of a zonal flow. So no Arctic air behind this front. Temperatures will still be mild, perhaps into the mid-40s. And then our next weather maker comes in here late Thursday. It looks like primarily rain, maybe some mixed precipitation in the hill towns, but nothing major or too concerning here. Mid-40s today, a little cooler tomorrow, back into the mid-40s on Wednesday. Thursday, it's primarily rain mid-afternoon into the evening. But on Friday, behind that system, we're back into the mid-50s. And then another system, perhaps on Saturday, that too looks like mainly rain that could end as a period of wet snow Saturday night into Sunday. But as you can see, no real deep Arctic cold air at all. Normal high should be 35, way above that in the next several days. Another check of the forecast in a couple of minutes. Have a great Monday. Amanda and David, back to you.